How's everybody doing? Uh, I want to reintroduce myself. I'm Attorney Gerald Briggs, President, 13th President of the Georgia State Conference of the NAACP. And it's truly an honor to be here in Eatonton, in Putnam County. And I came a, a few months back when I got um, some text messages and emails about what was happening at Jimmy Davis Park. And the thing that I wanted to impress upon the uh, organizing committee is that we are living in one Georgia, which means if something happens in Eatonton, it happened in Atlanta, or it happened in Savannah, or it happened in Valdosta. And so I'm here to support the community. I got an opportunity to meet uh, Jimmy Davis's family, and I just want to thank all of them uh, for what he did for this community and what his lasting legacy will be. But as I was driving down here today, I was thinking about what I wanted to say to my brothers and sisters from Eaton. And what I wanted to say, I threw away after I saw the size of this uh, outing. Again, I've been all around Georgia. I was literally in America's last week. My brother was there with me. Uh, and we were talking to the community. And we wanted to impress upon something that we are all mutually tied together. What happens in one community happens in another community. And so on behalf of the oldest civil rights organization in this state, we are taking a special interest in what happens at Jimmy Davis Park. I'm not just saying that. I'm not just saying that because there are over 250 people out here. I said that in a room of about 15 people, OK? And what I want to impress is this. I grew up in a park similar to Jimmy Davis's park. I grew up at Glenwood Hills, which is in Decatur. I learned how to play Little League football, Little League baseball. I tried soccer, but you know, it's a little bit too much running. Um, and I learned all of the skills that got me to the point I am right now. And I want every single child, black, white, Hispanic, or anything else to have that same experience because it molds you, it teaches you teamwork, it teaches you things that you carry on the rest of your life. And I'm glad that Chairman Sharp was here to make promises to the community. But I'm gonna turn back into the attorney and the president of the NAACP and say something. If elected officials don't make good on the promises they made to you, you call me. Because we hold elected officials in this state accountable. We did it in Columbus two weeks ago. We did it in America a week ago. We're doing it here in Putnam County today. I'm tired of folks making promises to a certain segment of the community and never living up to them. So here's the thing. Y'all can pay to maintain that Confederate monument over there. Y'all should be able to pay to maintain Jimmy Davis Park. No excuses. There are 3.3 million black people in this state. We've been here a long time. We tired of hearing just wait a little bit longer, give us a little bit more time on this, do that, do this. If we had done that, we'd still be slaves. So just like in the spirit of what happened on this town square last weekend for Juneteenth, we not tell, we not asking no more. We telling you. We have enough people in this square right now to vote out any commissioner. And let me be clear, we sent a message in 2018, we sent a message in 2020, we sent a message in 2021, we sent a message in 2022, we are organizing for 2023 and we will turn back out in 2024. Let's be clear, in Georgia it didn't turn blue, it turned black. So. As the president of the oldest civil rights organization, I have a message for Putnam County. One, we are done asking. This is a demand. I'm appreciative of the things that have happened so far. I was here in March. I saw the fence down. I saw the, the, the um, swings messed up, the, the fence having holes in it. I'm appreciative of the things that have happened. But that's not enough. We want that park in great shape. We want that park so put together they can have Little League, 
They can have cheer practice. They can have baby showers. They can have wedding receptions, all of those things. And the baby said she wanted the computers back, the TVs. And so we want all of that. But we need your help. I can't drive down here every weekend. But what I can do is set up a very strong branch here. So everyone that's here, I want you to do two things. One, I want you to come to the county commission meeting so you can hear them put that line item in the budget. I, I don't want promises, I want the line item. But two, I need you to join the Putnam County NAACP. We only need 50 members. 50 members and you can raise a lifetime of heck in this town and the other towns to make Putnam County be what it's supposed to be for black people. Amen. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank the organizing committee. You guys are doing yeoman's work. I want to thank the community because without you, this would have never happened. But the last thing I want to leave to everyone under the sound of my voice, this is not the first time I've been in Ethan. It won't be the last time. This is not the first time I've been in front of this courthouse. It won't be the last time. It's three things the NAACP is good at. One is activism. Two is agitation. And three is litigation. Today, I'm here as an activist. Tomorrow, I can be here as an attorney. We are not asking. The taxpayers pay their good, hard-earned tax dollars, and the allocation should be equal to all sections of the community. Amen. If that doesn't happen, best believe you can hear from us and our lawyers. Amen. So again, I'm the 13th president of the Georgia State Conference, but more importantly, I'm a sixth-generation Georgian, born out of this red clay, the great, 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 great grandson of a slave. But I'm also a civil rights attorney. And what my great, great, great grandfather would be expecting as he's smiling down from heaven is this. Black people, it's time for us to own our ancestry. Amen. It's time for us to embrace who we are or whose we are. And show these babies that we have the same courage of our ancestors from this city and all over Georgia that threw off the chains of oppression through chattel slavery, came through the civil rights movement and shook the world with George Floyd protests. So again, we are the birthplace of civil rights. And I would argue we are becoming the birthplace of social justice. Let's show these people it wasn't a one-time event with Big George or Ahmaud or Brianna. We are sick and tired of being told that we can't have something. So it starts with Jimmy Davis Park. We want them to fix the park. We want them to improve the park so the babies have some place to play. They have something to look up to. They have something to grow. But we also have a message to Putnam County and to Eaton. We can't become unified until y'all accept that that statue over there needs to come down. I'm going to say that one more time. There can be no unity until all citizens in this community feel safe, secure, and their tax dollars are honored. So you need to fix the park and take that traitorous monument down. Thank you, Mr. Green.